Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem A from Code Forces Global Round 9, Sign Flip. So it's a very simple problem, if you just write it down on a piece of paper, you can observe the pattern very easily. So you are given n integers, where n is an odd number, and you are allowed to flip the sign of any, or like none, if you are required, to flip the sign of any of the numbers you are given to them. And then after flipping the signs of the number, you have to hold or find out the condition such that at least half of the adjacent differences is greater than or equal to zero and other half adjacent differences are less than or equal to zero. So what does this mean that you have those numbers and if you do an, if you take any two adjacent numbers and if you find out the differences, then half of the differences you find out are greater than or equal to zero and half of the differences you find out are less than or equal to zero. So you can flip the signs of any of the number and find out any valid way to flip the signs. It can be shown that under the given conditions, the answer always exists. Okay, so you are given these test cases. Uh, like I have taken down this third example to make it more clear. So as you can see, if you just find out the difference between these two numbers, and it is also given that the difference is i plus one number minus a of i. So in this four minus six, it is four minus six. Four and minus minus two, then it is just equal to six. Okay. Now, what I actually did here is in this question, because as you can see, the if there is a negative sign here and a positive sign here, the answer is six because you, you subtract here. Now, if both of them are positive, now it can the number can be greater than zero or less than zero. It depends. But like if I did a negative sign here, as you can see, if I did a negative sign here, then what you'll observe here is uh, it is minus seven minus 4. I will just find out the difference between those two. It is come out to be 6. If I did a negative sign here, if I find out the difference between these two, it is actually minus 11. So we are subtracting this number from this number. So as you can see, the first number is greater than 0, the second number is less than 0. And same, if you make it this positive, then 6 minus 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 of 7. Greater than zero, and as you can see, the the sign is the sign on the number of value is flipping. It is first greater than zero, then less than zero, greater than zero, and less than zero. So this is easily mean that we just have to flip the sign between every two consecutive numbers. So what I have done here is, I for every even number, or like every odd indices, this is zero, this is one. For every odd indices, I have made it negative. Whatever the sign initially will be, I just made every odd indices number negative and every even indices number positive. Just don't care about what is the initial sign, just convert it to the next or the new sign. And as you can see, whenever uh, there is a negative sign here, when you do a subtraction, minus 4 and minus, so it's like minus 4 and it is positive here. So minus 4 and minus 2, it is minus 6. And then the next number will be 11. Next time I will be minus 30 and so on. So it is like flipping. First is less than 0, greater than 0, less than 0, greater than 0 and so on. And thus everything will be half and half. Le half numbers are less than 0 and half numbers are greater than 0. So that's a simple logic. I'll take it down to the code part now. So it's also very simple. Take the input of all the numbers. For every odd indices, I find out its absolute difference, which means that we are just reducing or get away its original sign and multiply it with negative 1 which means making it negative. So every odd indices are negative and every even indices just reduce its sign and it will become positive. And thus just return out the answer. And that's it. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.